Elmer. And I'm Willie. Today we're going to be installing an amateur radio setup in our Jeep Serious business. Uh, the reason we're doing ham radio versus GMRS or CB is the fact that ham radio has a lot more to offer. It has a lot more frequencies, a lot more range in CB or GMRS, and also has a lot of uh, options to offer such as repeaters and uh, longer range uh, communications up to 30 or 40 miles with repeaters. Uh, so we're going to have to turn around and cut the actual hood here and put it about 18 inches from this A post, which is technically a quarter of wavelength. You'll learn this when you get your amateur radio license where the antenna placement works. Uh, today we're going to be using a Diamond K400C antenna mount and a, um, let me see what this one is, it's a Diamond and, um, NR77HA antenna about 40 inches long and allows with it comes with six feet of cable allows us to go inside the interior. We're also going to be installing uh, a Yesu FT2980 uh, two meter radio. We have a um, 8800 in here that's dual band but we don't know if there's any trouble with the radio. We're going to troubleshoot and test it. Uh, we're not going to go into full detail on how to do this. Um, there's plenty of amateur radio operators that are willing to help you should the need arise that you want to put one in your vehicle. Um, we're going to get cut to it. We're going to do a time lapse and show you basically some of the work that's going to be involved in putting the antenna in and putting the radio actually in the Jeep. Uh, when we finish, we'll come back and show you how it works and how the communications operate. And with that, let's get to work. K8HNK to W8CTM. Uh, Carrie, how's the uh, radio check sounding now? Sounds same to me. Sounds good. 
Alrighty, well, thank you. I'm going to have to take this radio in-house and uh, program for the local repeater. So, it seems like I'm coming in loud and clear. So, if it's working on Simplex, it'll definitely work in on the repeaters. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm at ground level and probably running a full 80 watts. So, um, once I figure out how everything works and get it settled down, then I'll be able to, you know, to get it to... Um, get it to work so with that i'm going to say seven three thanks for coming back to me there and helping me troubleshoot this k8 agent kw8 ctm i'll be clearing your final that is 2980s good radio that's a good radio that's uh, good and solid you won't have any problem with that you know yes uh, they made a good one there for sure anyway we'll talk to you later good luck on uh, whatever you're doing there So, just wanted to give you a heads up, uh, everything that we did. Of course, uh, my sneaky suspicion that this 8800 was the culprit all along. I, my older vehicle started acting up and I figured it was either the antenna or the radio. Uh, considering this radio was used, it was repaired. Uh, sometimes repairs come loose. This will be going to the ham shack under my workbench to see if I can find out what's actually going on with it. Uh, we did put the 2980 in. We did mount it over by the driver's side so I could see without taking my eyes off the road the uh, actual work. I want to thank uh, to Kerry, WACTM, for actually helping us test this. Uh, we test on Simplex because I don't have any of the repeaters programmed into the radio and didn't bring the manual with me to program it. So tonight's going to be a little bit of working on it, programming the radio, getting it set up for um, the the road trips and everything the antenna works great where we ran uh, close to full power on the antenna at 80 watts it's a hundred watt antenna we got signal reports that we were full quieting so with that I'm kind of happy with the install we're going to see the next couple of days how it works um, how it holds up what's going to, some things things are going to be need to be tightened obviously from shaking loose it just happened so we want to thank you uh, for that Remember, this week is National Preparedness Week, and you definitely want to start working on, like we mentioned in the other videos, family plans, go bags, and even working on uh, what we're going to be working on for next uh, for our front porch Friday. Uh, this coming week, we're going to be talking about communications and uh, other things when your cell phones don't work. So, I want to say, everybody, stay healthy, stay blessed. Remember, God's in control, and have a wonderful evening.